Because the liquid metal fast breeder uses liquid sodium as coolant, and because sodium has a higher boiling point than water at atmospheric pressure, the coolant in a liquid metal fast breeder does not need to be pressurized. Pressurized water reactor is a really thick pipe, whereas here it's a relatively thin pipe. Both types of breeder reactors, the liquid metal fast breeder and the molten salt breeder, can avoid the cost and complexity associated with containing pressurized water coolant, which may flash to steam. However, the chemical stability of molten salt coolant and the ability of molten salt to secure radioactive isotopes within strong chemical bonds is not shared by sodium. It's stored under an oil to, to stop air or moisture getting on it. Reacts very, very quickly with air and also with water. Or well, the hydroxide is a white crust on the outside. All right, go. Woo! They built a reactor and put it in a sub and they ended up cutting the reactor out of the sub and putting a LWR in it. But they became disenchanted with sodium cooling rather quickly. Mm. Mm. What happens if there's a leak? Sodium reacts with the air and the water. Well, you haven't got air next door to your sodium surfaces. It's inerted. With liquid metal fast breeders, the advantage of a coolant operating near atmospheric pressure must be weighed against the use of that same coolant, which also reacts rapidly to air at high temperature and violently to water at any temperature.